All right, last call for anyone who wants to join the Demolition Derby. Wait, wait. Roscoe, can you think I can join? Uh, but you're kind of bent out of shape. Uh, move! Ah! I can join, right? Uh, of course, of course. Wait, but what about me? Well, um, technically you still run, uh, but look at you. I don't know if you're gonna be able to win. That doesn't matter. I still am determined to win. Come on, let me race, please. Huh. Move offside. <sighs> well, uh, I guess you can go in. Thank you. Hup, 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 hup. Roscoe. Mm hmm. I promise you, I'll win. Fat chance. <laughs> What are you going to do? You can't even race. Well, that'll all be settled in this race right here. So buckle up. Yeah. All right. Are you ready? Wait. Wait a minute. Where's Fritter? Oh, she, she couldn't make it today. <gasps> That's my chance. Hmm. Don't just think that Fritter, since Fritter's not here today means that you can win. Come on. Like, that's nonsense. Well, I don't know. Uh, come on, let's go, let's go! Let's go racing! <laughs> Move it, Pipsqueak! Up! <laughs> ah! Oof. Uh. Oh. Uh. oh, come on! <laughs> Jambalaya is out! Hoop! Uh. Hoop! I'm back! Oh. Ah. RV and liability are out! Wait a minute. I'm still in, by the way. I, I can still race! See? <laughs> Alright, you're still in, T-Bone. Awesome, I can just hide here. Wait out the fight. <laughs> oh. Stop! Uh-oh, and it looks like Bill's in a jam right here. Uh, I can't get out! Uh, come on, Brata, keep on doing this! You got it! Uh, I gotcha! Hup! Ah! Ha! Ah! Oh, T-Bone! Uh, I gotta get out of here. Uh, wait a minute, Bill! Uh, take your time. <laughs> we already know who's gonna win anyways. Alright then, let's go. Three, two, Oscar it. Whoa, 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 what's going on? Ah! Oh my gosh! I can't believe it! T-Bone won at Thunder Hollow! Wait, I won? Eat that, Bill! Woo oh, wait, oh no. No, 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 no! And it seems that T-Bone's engine has finally broken down! Wait. <laughs> Even though you took out my wheel, my engine's still working! Bill wins by default! Ah, oh, shucks. Hey guys, what is up? It's Little Harky here, and today I'm going to be reviewing T-Bone from the Thunder Hollow 5-pack. Specifically, the 5-pack that includes, obviously, T-Bone, APB, Fishtail, Cruise of Mirrors' Francis Beltline, and Lightning McQueen and Chester Webber Filter. Now, this 5-pack has gotten a 2017 release. However, recently, it has gotten a 2018 release, showing that um, T-Bone has the possibility to not be a pack exclusive car, which is awesome for most collectors like me. Um, in more news, you can tell that my setup is kind of different today, and that is because my diorama of the racetrack is actually gone. It's being taken in for repairs. So, for now, all you can see of are the leftover pieces of the track. I know um, you guys may miss the racetrack diorama, but I have to kind of, you know, improvise it, and it was sort of breaking apart, so I, that's why I had to, you know, mend it back to... Um, how it was before. But anyways, let's get on to T-Bone's review. 
Now, T-Bone is a Demolition Derby card, number 45. Um, so, let's get on to reviewing him. So, over here is, there's a little, um, route sign saying, in section 40, West California. And it shows a little a checker mark pointing to the lower right-hand corner of the sign right there. T-Bone has brown eyes. Very, very confident expression. Little smile right there. With three teeth, that's pretty nice. Um, park. Little park sign right there. Um, for his, you know, kind of grill. It covers up his grill a bit. And he does not have any headlights. I think he has, like, probably bashed out. I don't know what that is in the front. If you, you guys know in the comments, let me know. I believe it's a drip. Either a drip pin or a cylinder. I'm not sure though. However, he does have um, blue stripes going from his the top of the of the bottom of the park um, the park symbol right there, all the way along to the top um, around his hood and the eyes, and then it goes off out from the middle and then goes off to the sides, and then after that the streaks go all the way back to his bumper, which we'll talk about in a bit. So on top here you can see the streaks again. T-Bone, written right there with blue paint. Um, dense, definitely a lot of dense. Obviously, he has been in a big accident, you can tell. Um, as, like, most of the right side is crunched up, which is where his bent side is, as you can see. Number 45, right there, in uh, yellow text and in uh, orange outline. You can see that there's actually kind of barricades around the window right here. And right here, um, for the 45, however... Over here, he actually took a speed limit sign that said 45 and used that as the number 45, which was pretty clever, which is pretty clever. I really applaud T-Bone for that. Over here, we can see that he has barricades on his windows. Definitely, and there are texture, which is pretty cool. Over here, uh, Disney Pixar cars made in China. And obviously, you can tell, yes, he is bent up. And his wheels are, are positioned in a way where he can still roll if um, his bumper is standing straight and his um, bent side is pointing to the left so you can still roll for people who want to buy this for their children uh, over here you can see this kind of wood boarding right here on the side of him um, on the bottom of the 4 and the 5 you can see that and it's actually texturized as well I believe the same thing goes on right here um, so as you can see in the back window um, nothing really going on with the back window um, just the streaks and that's it over here, you can see the number 45 on the bottom again. So here, it says there is a dead end sign. There's a little, um, I don't know what that's called. Uh, I'm just going to call it a drip pan or cylinder. So I'm just going to call it a cylinder now. But yeah, here's a cylinder. Two smoke pets out the rear um, um, bumper. One on each side. And there's no there's no license plate on the bottom. But that's pretty much it. Over here, there's a root and root symbol number 45. And yeah, that's pretty much it on the side here, actually. T-Bone has riveted, um, he has riveted, uh, tires right here at his rims, and then the tires themselves actually have a blue stripe on both sides, like, um, they have two stripes, a blue on a gray tire, and over here, there are no rivets, so the blue stripe goes all the way across the tire and the rims, but here, there are no lug nuts, well, over here, there are lug nuts on the rim, by the way, the lug nuts are the Little nuts that are used to screw in the um, rim, which is pretty cool. Really nice. I really that they put attention to detail. So, yeah, I guess that's pretty much it for my um, review on T-Bone. And just a little side note, Bill is actually the same model as T-Bone. If T-Bone were not um, crushed and they were both perfectly normal cars, they are the same car model, so that's pretty nice. And why? how can I tell this? Because of their um, the way their engine is made you can tell that they're the same model car um pretty interesting um however i don't really like the the idea of um mattel just reusing the same model for each demolition derby car over and over again or at least for disney or mattel is messing up here but i don't know what are your ideas do you like the idea that um bill's model or any demolition derby car's model keeps on getting reused constantly and what do you guys um did you guys get the t-bone five pack yet or are you guys waiting to get him as a single um, in the future? Um, let me know in the comments. But anyways guys, thank you so much for watching. The Little Harky saying peace.